Welcome back to Freedom and Hours. Andy here again. Great to have you back with us for another episode. So today's episode, we look at why people stay poor and the rich get richer. Now, this is something I'm very, very passionate about because I truly believe the society is stacked against us. Now, you may be wondering why it seems you can never get ahead while there's other people that seem to have so much money and so much wealth. Well, the fact is, the actual way society is designed is stacked against you. You're actually brought into a system that's encouraged you to keep you in a job, to keep you poor, and keep you always trying to earn more. Um, so in this episode, we discuss why that's the case, what's happened to society, why most people are kept poor, but also, more importantly, what we can do about it. You see, the education you've had from school, your upbringing from your family, your parents, from the media, from all the news sources you watch, is designed to keep you poor, uh, to keep you paying your taxes, to be a good little citizen. Now, it doesn't have to be this way. You can have wealth. You can have riches. And this is the core of what Freedom and Hours is all about. It's to enable people to have the education, the financial literacy, and the ability to make money and take control of their life. So anyway, let's not stop any longer. Now we're going to jump into the secrets. So you can still really see why people get poor, how people are rich, but what you can do to put the game in your favor. So as always, make sure you like the video or podcast, subscribe to it, and let us know in the comments what you think about it and how you're going with your journey to wealth. Anyway, let's jump right into it at Freedom in Hours. Okay, so why do people stay poor? Well, when you think about it, when you're growing up, what did you have to help you make money? You think about, you're put into a school system with everyone else. In that school system, you're taught how to do mathematics, how to do chemistry, algebra, human sciences, how to cook, really in a way how to be good citizens. And at school, they didn't really sit there and say to you, how are you going to be financially independent? They spoke about how are you going to go to university? What kind of job are you going to have? They talked about careers counselors, about them enabling you to earn extra money. But not along this track did they teach you about what the rich were doing to make more money. Now this is further burdened by what's happened with our parents and our family members. See, when you're born and you have a family member that works and they're always trying to work hard to pay a mortgage, to just get ahead, um, you get that psychology yourself. Now automatically you're pre-programmed to have a life where you're working. The other challenge is things give us pretty easy these days. If you think about it, you go get a job, you work, you earn a bit of money, you can have a comfortable life. You can have a, a decent house, you can have a decent car, you know, you can go on holidays occasionally. Um, the challenge with that is you're always working and you're always tied to a job and tied to someone else's income. So in Freedom and Hours, I believe you don't have to be tied to jobs your whole life. You have the ability to choose to do whatever you want. So the, the great challenge is with people staying poor is they really don't know any better. Now, the thing is, if you want to go and make more money, you think about it, you go, okay, great, I want to be richer. I want to go and get some financial you know, information. So you jump online, you get books, you jump online, you get seminars. But see, these books and seminars are actually tailored to keeping you poor. Um, Anthony Robbins, who I'm a big fan of, as I spoke about in previous seminars, released a book, um, Making Money, I think it's called. And it was all talking about how you can make money through mutual funds and, and hedge funds. Um, to me, it's insane. Anthony Roberts doesn't get his money through having stock market funds or mutual funds, and he was recommending them for us to buy. You know, put money in it long term, use compound interest. You, you can be wealthy one day. Well, you can't be wealthy one day. It, it, it's madness. You're sure in 20, 30 years, when you're in your, in your 70s and 80s, you can have money to retire. But what happens when you want to do it when you're young? Now, for example, with me, you know, I want to go and live a life. And if it wasn't for lockdown happening at the moment, I would actually be traveling all around the world So, um, and doing my seminars. So, you know, we just got to sit back and think, what is this advice being given to? And I used to, I got really frustrated when I was younger. I used to go and jump online and read all the, you know, the best-selling books that are out there from authors. Um, and the information was just garbage, guys. It was absolute rubbish. And it was designed to say, here's how you can buy a property long term. Here's how you can invest in stocks long term. Here's how you can start this. This is not real wealth. Now, if you look at the wealthiest people, Jeff Bezos, for example, do you think he sat there and did a stock market firm or, you know, sat there investing in mutual funds? No, he didn't. He created wealth. But the challenge is, how do we get these secrets? And this is why I created Freeman Hours, because these people have these secrets and this money, and they don't want to tell us. You know why they don't want to tell us? Because we buy their products, they earn money. The government gets their taxes. Everyone's happy. Now, I want to tell you as well about what happened when I was watching the news the other day. Now, I don't watch news. You saw my video about stop watching news and social media, but occasionally you have to just pop it on just to see what, you know, what the beat is of what's going on in society. 
Actually, it wasn't the news I was watching. I was in the gym and it flashed up on the TV and it said, how to retire by the age of 65. Secrets coming to you now. And I thought to myself, people are watching this and get hearing the secrets of how to retire by 65. I mean, how are we staying poor? And think about it in your life and your friendship circle. Who in your people do you know that has money, is wealthy, who's getting ahead? Now, I'm not talking about good job, like high paying jobs, where you pay half your income in taxes. Uh, the challenge is as you earn more money in an income, you spend more money and you get further behind. You want a bigger house, more luxurious items, more, more things that you just really don't need. Um, see, what you need to do is you need to start thinking about what you're gonna do with your future. So that's the first biggest lesson between the poor and the rich. The rich have a plan. The rich sit there and think, I'm gonna be in control of my financial destiny. I'm gonna be in control of where I'm gonna be and what I'm gonna do. So I start to looking at how much money we've got. Now, all of us have enough money to start getting ahead. You can't use the excuse and we can all put away $10 a week, but we could also start our own side businesses. We can start doing Ubering. We can start a website relatively cheap. But if you check my other money video, Starting Money With Nothing, you see how you can actually start earning money, literally no money. You can literally just go out there um, and you can do services online. You can use your skills. Now, I know this is still earning money, but what I want you to do is start to get a bit of extra money that you can then put towards a business. So number one, you need to have control of your finances. So sell things like, we've done previous videos, I won't go into too much now, start money from nothing and have a look at that. Uh, but you need to start getting control of your financial future. The second one is education. Guys, you need to educate yourself. These people do know things that you don't know. They've got um, ideas, methods, networks that you don't have. Um, and how do you do that? Go to seminars, you know, jump online, go to online forums, go to groups, go where people are going where you want to have the information. Now, uh, you can contact me uh, at freedomandhours at gmail.com, uh, send me an email and ask me if I've got any ideas. I'll, I'll, I'll can direct you to the right place to go. But you need to start to be going with like-minded people that can do it. Um, now, from my point of view, I've done everything from Red Harvest Business Review for small businesses. I've done seminars, I've done tapes, I've done books. But my mentor, John, all that time ago, he really did help me as well. And he put me in contact with people that change the way I view and the way I think about the world. Because entrepreneurs do think about things differently. So that's the second way. Now, the third way is also mentality as well. You need to start thinking positively. Now, what happens is when you get up for a job, you go to work, turn your alarm on, hit traffic, you're busy, you see the staff, you see your staff, you, your boss, you get out there, you get home in traffic, you're too tired to look at doing businesses. So start to slow things down. Um, some people can actually work from home. That can work quite well for other people. Um, but you can also look at things you can do to start getting control. So firstly, get control of your time. But secondly, get your psychology right. So I did a video about um, the, min the morning meditation that you need to do every single morning um, to wake yourself up. So I recommend you watch that video and it helps put you into the right state of mind. As part of that is reading things that helps make you better what you are. See, I got asked by a friend the other day, how did I become so successful? And I said, I did things differently to what everyone else is doing. I look at different opportunities. I look at doing things a different way. And that's what brought me to where I was. Now, I made a lot of mistakes in the way. Don't get me wrong, but I never stopped trying to find new opportunities. See, while people, um, you know, a few years ago, were people going out, going to the bar, I was at home working at a website. You know, when people were out there having a great time, you know, traveling down the beach, I was there looking for businesses that I could purchase for no money down. Um, you know, when I was 18, I had a motel with my family. When I was 20, I had my own first cafe. I did things differently to give myself the financial education to be more successful, okay? Now, I hope you're not feeling too frustrated at the moment that the whole thing's stacked against you because while it is stacked against you, there's never been a better time in history to get out there and earn money and earn an income. I mean, the ability now to just jump online for YouTube, for example, I mean, I could be meet, reaching 4 billion people through this video at the moment. I mean, it's quite extraordinary. Um, and if you want to click on the seminars and links and stuff like that I have, I can earn money from it. I can earn money from the website, from public speaking. You know, I can, and the, the opportunity, and it just excites me just through creating a, a website. I mean, you could start a niche website of something you're passionate about. Say you're good at, I don't know, gardening. You could do your own gardening video, your own gardening website. You can go and teach people how to garden. I mean, it's just mind boggling. Then you can get other people across the world and never in history have there been a better time for us to be ahead and to make money. Now, in the past, you think about it, you know, back in the 1920s, for example, Ford Motors, for example, how'd you get ahead then? You needed a heap of capital, you needed a heap of money, um, and it really was very hard. I mean, you had to start a stall and try and make money. Now, you can literally grab your smartphone um, and you can make money. So, guys, I, I recommend just start 
to read and not don't read what the mainstream media teaches you about things to read. For example, you know, buy real estate when you're young, all kind of stuff. Look for people that are different. Look for videos like this where you can learn the new techniques. Now, uh, I can't give you everything today about what to do to be rich. I mean, the whole idea of freedom in hours is spending hours a day, hours a week to change your financial freedom. So we have a lot more videos about what you need to do, but stop the game being stacked in your behavior against you. Stop these guys from having all the money. Um, you know, if you think about it, I got taxed the other day on my um, earnings through Amazon. 47% withholding tax, which they're going to pay back to me. But, you know, that's still money that I earned in the background. I haven't done any work through my other channel, Mr. Yoohoo. Um, but the tax came from me. The big companies, they're paying maybe 15% tax. So even when you're wealthy, it's still taxed against you. Um, but there's always ways to work around it. So anyway, I hope this has motivated you to know that what you're doing now is not your fault. But it's your fault if you don't make choices to change. Any one of us, any time can change. And I read, remember Anthony Roberts said to me, most of us underestimate what we can, overestimate what we can do like in a, in a year, but underestimate what we can do in five years. So start doing little things now to make the difference. Psychology right, start to get educated, start to network, start to put your money into small things, start to create small little side businesses, get your thinking right, and in time, you too will become wealthy. Um, you know, I hope you said today. I hope you see today why people stay poor and the rich get richer. Um, and also, the rich because they have investments that work for them. You think about it. You're earning income and paying a little bit of money. The rich are earning money from their investments and their businesses. So me myself, I earn an income now just from my business and investments that I get. So every day I wake up and then that income pays for another pays for another investment and that investment pays for another one. So you know, within a two year, three years time, I've quadrupled my wealth just through the feeding into each other. So. We'll get you to that stage, but you've got to start now by making small decisions and taking control of your life. So anyway, any, again, really appreciate you joining us here for Freedom Hours video. As you can see, I'm very, very passionate about it. I don't believe any of us need to live a life of poverty. Um, and in future, I hope I can create businesses and just give them to people over time so they can then have it. I really want to, my passion is educating people and getting them ahead. So anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, make sure you like and, sh and subscribe to the video and all the podcasts, Freedom Hours podcasts. Jump on the website and have a look. Um, but yeah, thanks again for joining us Freedom Hours. It's, it's something I'm really, really passionate about and we can do it together. So anyway, thanks again for joining us here at Freedom in Hours.